family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone. Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Pepper is wearing her swimming costume. And George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the bubble bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Hello, Pepper. Let's play in the bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> Lift you up and tickle you. <laughs> oh, yes, that feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. Hello, Mandy. You've got to try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? You wait here until the bucket is full. Then what happens? <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? <laughs> Wet. Although, I suppose that is the point of coming to a water park. Oh, oh, let's do the water slides. Here are the water slides. There's a tiny slide for little children and a really big, ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on the slide. <laughs> That's very high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. George, let's do the tiny slide. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, you have to watch us. OK, we're watching. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to have a go. OK. We'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig. You can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Daddy, we're waiting. Sorry. I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy! <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is! Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK. Here goes. Wow, Daddy Pig! You did the big ginormous slide. Oh, oh. You are brilliant! Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. That was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. <laughs> Trampolines. Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. 
always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> Trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> Have a go. Hey! hey. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> hey. Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Day. Let's see her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. Okay, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just 
get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. You did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hello, Penny! Hi, Peppa! <laughs> this is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr! Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Here's the whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale! Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. The tractor. Pepper and George are visiting Mrs. Badger's farm. Pepper, George. Can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. <laughs> it is a traffic jam. <laughs> Come on, get a move on. <laughs> Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. We were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. We'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. Now, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. 
wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. Ah, no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs. Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Pepper loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. <laughs> little cars. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Pepper. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. <laughs> We are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see, 
No need to beep. <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes, I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Ah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go! Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. <coughs> Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Danny's pirate bedroom. Peppa is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. Hello. Hello, Danny. Peppa, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. I'll see you later, Peppa. Bye, Daddy. What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh. I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls, we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling, there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Can we help? Of course. Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder... What you are! <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh, the star 
Mother Glittery! Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um... On TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, What a surprise! But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> OK, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me! Me! Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where should we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo-ho-ho, ho, yo-ho-ho, ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. Yo-ho-ho, ho, yo-ho-ho, ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. <laughs> we are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh! First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding onto the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. Wow. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning! Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop. It 
is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games. Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh. 